I just want to make this clear. This is my opinion. I think the newer suspension wheels coming out, this is a very niche market. These wheels are not going to be for every rider. That's because of the price and the size of the wheels. So let's get into the video. What's up everybody, Sensei here. Welcome to the show. Welcome to another video. The electric unicycle realm is moving at light speed due to the release of all these upcoming suspension wheels. I am on the market for a suspension wheel. I was eyeballing the T4, but after further review, I think that the T4 needs a little more refinement to bring it up to par. It is having some issues and I really don't like buying wheels and you're gonna have a ton of issues with that. So it needs a little more tinkering around to bring it up to standards. But the Commander Pro has caught my eye. I was a fan of the original Commander, even though it did have some quirks. I know people weren't too happy with the placement of the speakers and it did have an overheating issue. I believe that's corrected now. And uh, some people actually refer to it as a knockoff Sherman. <laughs> Let's just keep it 100% real, but I still always liked the Commander for some reason. I don't know, I think when you go, now one thing I wasn't happy with was the $4,000 price tag on the Commander Pro or the original Commander, I think. I don't know, I just it's hard for me to grasp that. Here are some of the uh, specs, and you can see the comparison between the Commander Pro and the Sherman S. Of course, you're gonna get a slightly higher quality wheel out of the Sherman S, but I still like the Commander Pro, that minimalist look. So when you go to add that extra seasoning to it, you know, again, I dig that unfinished look. When you add that extra seasoning to it, meaning your upgraded pads and pedals and all the other trimmings, the wheel is going to be nice to the taste. Now, this is the original price of the original Hero. That price actually hurt the sales of the Hero. And I'm sorry about this picture, but this is what new EUCs look like compared to the old EUCs. And we are moving away from micro mobility. You know, when I first started riding EUCs, you could actually buy two for the price of one today. And I think that is becoming a problem. I think it's going to hurt people trying to learn the sport. And that's something that manufacturers really need to take a step back and look at when it comes to the sizing and price of the wheels. Now, as far as the pricing goes, I tell riders, I'm just gonna keep it so I don't wanna make this too long. You wanna tack on about an additional thousand dollars to your budget when you start looking for an EUC. One, you gotta buy safety equipment. Think about it, a helmet can cost you $300, you know. And then as far as the upgrades, the tire, people were upgrading the suspension and then putting all the extra pads and trimmings on, that can easily come out to a thousand bucks. So a four grand wheel comes out to a $5,000 wheel just to bring it up to most riders liking. That's a lot of money. You're moving into motorcycle and used car territory, okay? I, I can pay $4,000 for a wheel, but will I pay $4,000 for the new Commander Pro? I think not. Um, I'm just going to wait and see if something else comes out. I look at how I ride. I need a wheel that's a little more commuter friendly. Honestly, give us just a piece of that, you know, do an upgraded V11. You know, everyone doesn't need a V13. The V13 is a mechanical marvel, probably the best wheel ever built. But that wheel weighs as much as some of the riders that are riding it. That's a heavy wheel. The Master Pro is a heavy wheel. And when you're riding these wheels at speed, people want to, you know, get these things up full send. Trying to bring that thing to a stop safely, some riders are going to have an issue. You know, that once that thing gets cranking, it, it you know, trying to slow it down is going to be an issue. And I really worried about where these things are going. I think that the electric unicycles manufacturers need to just dial it back, dial it back. Give us an upgraded S18. Give us, you know, uh, a refined T4. But go, come out with a wheel with a shell. I mean, we're actually paying more for less. Come out with a shell 
on a wheel. You know, I see people paying all this money for masters and the masters are going down one time and they're carrying their wheels home in a paper bag. So with that being said, remember, get on your wheel, you ride it like you hate it. You be safe out there, but you ride it like you hate it. I'm Sensei. Hello. Good night. <laughs>